Okay, so long story short, as I'm listening back while I was driving around trying to record the missing appeal lie situation. So what is happening is that I first, I filed a, a total of five appeals so far and with Superior Court and one reconsideration, which I guess would technically be some sort of appeal with a Superior Court, if that makes sense. Okay, so... I first filed the appeal for the recusal, which was quashed by the Superior Court. Then I filed four more appeals, um, two for denials of my emergency hearing, one to dismiss Adam, and one to appeal this judge originally taking my kids. The Pathonotary Office at Westmoreland County was just going to sit on all four of those appeals and pretend and just never file them. And then I caught that. When I caught that, they then filed three of the four appeals, but I could not figure out which three of the four appeals were filed, okay? So then I had to figure out which appeal they didn't file, and nobody seems to know this answer. So Bobby Joe Wagner at the Superior Court Pathonotary Office in downtown Pittsburgh told me that they just, she was opening the mail from Westmoreland County while I was on the phone, and she confirmed that she had the one, which I said, oh, good, I'm glad you have that one because it's very important, which is the order for her to originally take my kids. I'm appealing that. She's, Bobby Joe Wagner confirmed to have that. Diana in the Superior Court that works in the pathonotary office for, um, in Westmoreland County Superior Court also led me to believe that she did not have Adams. So Bobby Joe Wagner and Diana both told me they do not have Adams appeal. Okay. My appeal for that. They do not have it. So then I had to run across the street to Eric D's office and have the secretary print me a copy of that. Then I came back to file it. Diana was ready to take my money. I had a bad feeling. I asked her to please check for sure because can you please open the file from your end and please read what it says because two appeals were filed on the 20th and one of those two appeals are missing and they're leading me both both pathonotary workers are Diana and Bobby Joe Wagner are leading me to believe that it's Adams missing, which I mean, unless so then Diana, I had, I'm like, can you please read me, open the order from your end and read me what it says, both of those orders on the 20th. She then confirms that she does have Adams, even though she was about to take my money and file it again. Um, even though she had just filed it the last week, maybe, um, and that she does not have the one where my the judge or, originally took my kids. So I'm like, well, that's the one that I need to file then. So then I run back across the street to Eric D's office. Eric D secretary makes me a copy. I run back over. I pay the money and Diana files it. And I see that it is filed on iGEMS and Superior Court Pathonotary Office in downtown Pittsburgh. Is still awaiting the mail to arrive with that appeal. So I need to know when that mail arrives, do they already have this appeal? And is it still Adams missing? Or did Diana finally tell me the truth? And the missing appeal was the order for her to originally take my kids. And if that is the case, then they both lied to me. But regardless, Diana, they have, the Westmoreland County office has been lying to me nonstop. But it's just really just disappointing and scary to think that maybe the Supreme Court pathonotary worker has lied too. But I will find out once, um, I, I mean, I'll find out.